Guys, I am extremely white, but one workout is done. And I am not taking my glasses off right now because my eyes look so tired, it's not even funny. Hmm. Skeleton face. It's coming back. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like clean shaven. In fact, I fucking hate clean shaven. I don't know why I did it. I'm not going to do it again, that's for sure. Every time I do it, I say I'm never doing it again, and then I forget what it looks like, and then I really don't like it. But anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am feeling better. I am feeling better, guys. Uh, you know, truth be told, that workout helped. I was energetic as fuck in, in there, but now that I come back into my car, I sort of um, am getting tired again. <laughs> and I can't even string a sentence together. Um, but with that said, I'm going to have two meals at least before I go to sleep. Uh, we're going to have one called Holy Meatballs. And we're going to have another one called Deep South Chili. So we're going, we're going red meat tonight. It's not always red meat, obviously. I try and you know stick to white meat most of the time just for my digestive tract and things like that. But uh, Holy Meatballs is probably my favorite meal from Core Nutritionals. Now I fucking wish I could say I was sponsored by these guys and I was getting these meals for free because that would make life so much better. Oh my God, that was how, like food, <laughs> supplements, nah. But a food company to, pr pr <laughs> to provide like free food or really discounted food would be so sick. But anyways, these are the guys that I like because they're sold at the local gym. Outback Gym and Fitness. So this one is um, beef meatballs. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm like laughing at myself. Beef meatballs with tomato sauce and whole grain pasta, which is so good. And then we've got Deep South Chili, which is American style beef chili with basmati rice and green beans. And not only do they, t they sound fucking good, they taste good, but the macros are the best thing about them and that's why I keep going back to them. So for this chili one, which is basically, you know, a real nice beef chili with a decent amount of rice and, and beans, you've got 1530 kilojoules, which is, you know, it's under 400 calories for this, for this thing. I don't know how much it is exactly. Actually, what is it? It's, it's definitely under 400. It's like 350. And Holy Meatballs, which is probably my favorite. 1,660 kilojoules, so that's probably around, you know, 380 calories. 41 grams of protein, 9 grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs in that one. 40 grams of protein, 3.8 grams of fat, 39.8 grams of carbs in this one. So. You know, great options all around. And as well as that, we've got another major key when, whilst dieting, guys. If you want carbs, if you're having carbs and you want something like sandwich, uh, like well, bread, toast, a sandwich, a bagel, a waffle, anything like that, I would have to recommend these, man. They're so good. Sandwich Thins by Tip Top. 99 calories per serve. They come out like a, like a really nice soft waffle. Nah, it's not like a waffle, actually. No way. But it is nice and soft and they're already split in half 99 calories per serve you put it in the toaster it comes out like two pieces of toast for 99 calories obviously you're quite thin but i love like the texture of these things uh untoasted just fresh is really nice nice and soft and yeah 99 calories per serve man you put in you put like a really high protein low fat low carb something inside of one of these and it's only an extra 18 carbs on top of your uh, macros there that you put inside it so anyways I'm gonna stop talking right now I'm really rambling I'm fucking hungry I'm fucking thirsty I need to go home I need to sleep but I've got sip I've got 12 hours work tomorrow so I will talk to you guys once I finish work peace thanks for all the support one and all this day this few this few days man there's been hectic not even that hectic to be honest, it's been, it's just been like inevitable and so it just sucks really, you just gotta, just gotta push through and do it, don't you? Alright guys, so, it's um, it's it's now Saturday night and I've, I've done a 12 hour shift today, I'm now at the gym, just killed some back, don't know if you can see, but I'm feeling 
I'm feeling pretty wired right now. And I'm feeling fucking tired. I got a shit sleep last night. I'm going to sleep at my sister's again tonight. I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. I'm taking, I'm taking a queen mattress from my sister's place to... Oh, I don't even want to explain it, honestly. It's such a shit situation. I, I'm pretty much homeless, honestly. <laughs> That's what it comes down to for two weeks. And then I've got six weeks worth of um, living space in a one-bedroom apartment. And then after that, I have to get something permanent. But for this two weeks... <laughs> I'm like in someone's lounge, which I thought would be okay, but after one night, it's like you really, you know, <laughs> you kind of want to sleep in in the mornings if you want to without people, uh, you know, getting up and moving around you and shit. And um, you can't go to sleep until everyone else goes to sleep. It's like, it doesn't really work that well. So I've got two weeks of that basically. So I've just got to push through. The place is all clean. That I can tell you. Um, I'm actually going to go there tomorrow and take a picture, a photo of me in front of the in front of the um, front gates to take as a souvenir, I guess, and make a cool post on Facebook. So, with that said, I'm going to end the vlog here. I've moved out. We've got an absolute shitstorm for the next two weeks, but after that, I'll be good, and um, I should be back to YouTube then. But in the meantime, guys, I hope you have a good night. I'm going to. I'm fucking dehydrated, man. This cut is is killing me, man. I'm 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 killing myself. Like today, I've had like 800 calories the whole day, and now I'm at the gym. You know, it's day, it's days like that. I made a post on Instagram last night. It's it's days like that that I feel like I actually make the most progress, and it's because you know I feel I'm so hungry sometimes. I feel sick, yet I push through. And, um, and, and you know, still go and train and still do cardio and shit. And it's like, most people aren't prepared to, aren't prepared to do that. And you know, I could, I could have slowed the weight loss down, but the fact is, is I've lost like seven kg in uh, six weeks. So, you know, I've sped it up. I wanted it to be a mini cut. I wanted it to be four weeks. I've kept it going and you know, it looks like it's gonna be 12 weeks. I don't know if I can last that long. Um, but you know, I'm definitely in some good shape and I'll show you guys uh, next video how I'm looking. All right, so I'm gonna call, the, call it a night here. I'm heading back to my sister's place. I don't know what happened there. I think I got cut off, but that was a good back session, you know. I surprise myself sometimes with the quality of weight sessions I can achieve whilst in such a caloric deficit. Like, it's yeah it is surprising what what you can do mentally it's it, it really is a mental game when you are in a heavy caloric deficit it's not easy to train intensely you don't get a good pump you don't fucking feel full in the muscle which means that you don't feel as strong as before you don't feel as stable around the joints like things just don't feel the same so you know i'm i'm looking forward to introducing some more food and you know what i think going forward like it's Sunday tomorrow that marks six weeks I've been dieting so I reckon I'll probably weigh in in the morning under nine just under 96 kg and that's seven kgs in six weeks and um, you know I think I, I definitely can't continue that it's you know I'm I'm really feeling the pinch right now so what I'm gonna do is introduce some more calories I really like I mean I've been eating probably on average like 2800 calories per day but it's still not enough it really isn't especially with you know my, my weightlifting and stuff um, unfortunately I haven't been going to CrossFit which is you know my own fault I just haven't been able to make it I've rather lay in bed and get more sleep I mean I'm working you know four or five 12 hour shifts per week Plus trying to do CrossFit and, and lifting in the gym. It's just, it's really catching up. Plus trying to diet at the same time. It's really caught up to me. And plus trying to move this this weekend. Like, obviously you guys, you know, can appreciate it's a bit of a stressful time. So, you know, for me to continue my regime is actually 
I, you know, I give myself a big pat on the back for that. And, um, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm rambling now. I'm going to cut the vlog here. I'm just about back at my sister's place. You know, everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. <sighs> Eventually. I just... I just want my own bed. But me being a cheap ass, not wanting to get a six month lease because I thought I was going to leave Alice Springs. You know, <laughs> how many times have I said that? Um, you know, not for the next six months, I'm not. So I probably should get a lease. I'm going to start looking for properties pretty much straight away. And I'll let you guys know how we go. But come Monday, I'm going to make a six week diet breakdown video. I'm going to show you guys all my calories, all my macros, all my weigh-ins for the last six weeks and you know, told, tell you guys how it's been going. I'm so tired right now. Oh, fucking hell. What a week. What a weekend. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling lean, but I'm feeling fucking weak in the gym, which sucks, but you know, it's all part and parcel of it. So with that said, I'm looking blue on the screen right now, so I'd better go. It's a bit scary, isn't it? Um, I'm in a good mood because I just smashed a session and I've only eaten 800 calories today and that means that I can go and smash some food which puts me in a real good mood right now. So with that said, I'm going to let you guys go for the fucking 10th time. Good night. Have a good one, guys. Peace.